Hello, everybody. So I wanted to talk about goblins. Let's look at goblins today. Is it, it's it's exciting that people say, oh, well, this is this silly myth that we had goblins. Obviously, we never did. That's what people say, that we never did. We never had goblins. Fairies were made up, elves. It's all a load of nonsense. Of course, we never had them. And And is that... But why is it so widespread? And we also look at why is dragons? Why are dragons so widespread? And we often associate dragons with dinosaurs. And of course, there's two schools of thoughts here. There's either, well, the idea of dragons came from ancient people looking at dinosaur bones and misunderstanding them. Or there is no such thing as dinosaurs and they were really dragons. Um, Maybe they were around with us and we just, just because we don't have bones doesn't mean that they weren't around. I mean, people die and don't have bones because the bones get eaten or destroyed. But there's only a tiny proportion of deaths of animals and, and plants that get fossilised. It has to be quite a lucky situation. Um, it's, it's something like one in a hundred million that, that actually get fossilised. So it, it's kind of random. So, you know, we know that we probably don't have even a fraction of, of the dinosaur species, let alone the examples of dinosaurs. So it's quite plausible that we're missing some. So, you know, there's, there's that. And it could well be that there were dinosaurs around when humans were. And in fact, if you look at some definitions of what dinosaurs are, crocodiles are dinosaurs and they're still around. Now, they're obviously not Tyrannosaurus rexes or anything like that, but they are still dinosaurs. I mean, this is the thing. But the sharks have been around for millions of years. And, you know, so, yeah. And, and we know that woolly mammoths were definitely around at the same time as humans. And we know that unicorns, the real unicorns, were one-horned rhinoceroses. Um, one type of which is a Siberian unicorn was 100,000 years ago in Siberia, and we were alive at that time. Now, were we in Siberia? It's a few different arguments either way, but certainly we were around at the same time as then. And if we weren't in Siberia, say we were in China, we're definitely in China at that time. It's not that far from China to Siberia. Maybe they might have had treks. Maybe the Siberian unicorns would have made our way there and we would have seen them. It would have been, oh, wow, what's that beast? So, with that in mind, and the fact that unicorns were most certainly real, but extinct, um, then we have to look at what else was real. No, no unicorns, as in horses with horns, were never real. But if you look at the ancient history, and I'm not going to go over that because other people have already done it, they were never actually talking about white horses with horns. They were talking about rhinoceroses. And... They're talking about one horde rhinoceros, it's a unicorn as opposed to a bicorn or a, a duocorn. Um, they're rhinoceros, and and that's it. And they would have been magical, you can just imagine. It. And if you if you look it up, they were magnificent. And and I'm not going to go over the, di the dragon thing because that's gone over with other people as well. But there's significant writing about dragons. And they're different dragons around the world, and they match up with different dinosaurs around the world. So perhaps we just got our years wrong. Or perhaps it wasn't humans, as in looking like I do today, or looking like we do today, but they were human ancestors. Because human ancestors, you know, have been around the same length of time as dinosaur ancestors. You know, I mean, if you, if you look at evolution, that would have been around. And I mean, you say, well, that we couldn't have written it, but maybe we could have told stories or crunts or whatever we told. You, you can say with some certain, well, absolute certainty, that human ancestors most definitely interacted with dinosaurs. There's no doubt about that. Now, did we look more like a gorilla? Quite possibly. But we absolutely interacted with dinosaurs. And... 
we probably didn't call them dinosaurs because that coin is that was first termed in 1890 or something. It's you know it's a new term. We would have called them dragons, and in fact we know that we called them dragons. Maybe we called them other things too, but you know that's that's what we're talking about, and we would have this memory, and would have had stories of it going back. But the thing, and I started this with talking about goblins, because if you look at the medieval period, you say, oh, well, medieval period was 1000 to 1500 AD. That was just in Europe. But if you look at how the medieval period described itself, that is the wrong timeline. In fact, some timelines for the medieval period, if you went, if you went back in time, let's say you went back to 1300 AD, and you said, oh, we're in the medieval period, they'd say yes. Now, they weren't describing years AD at that time. That didn't come until later. But if you asked them and you said to them, how long have we been like this with, you know, armour and knights and all that sort of stuff? And they they would say anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 years. And that, that's incredible to think that they would be that far off. But they would think that they'd been doing that for 10, 000, between 10,000 and 100,000 years. And they also said it was worldwide. And yet they'd say, no, it was actually only 500 years and in Europe. So why were they that wrong? And I want to ask the question, were they that wrong? Because maybe they weren't. And if you just assume for a moment that we're just missing this gap because we know we had the dark ages where we destroyed all the evidence of everything, maybe in destroying that evidence, we've destroyed the evidence that they actually were 100,000 years old or at least 10,000. Let's say anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 years old. So let's say it was 10,000 years old. So we know that 10,000 years before that, um, we were having the first inverted comma civilizations. So Sumer was one of the first ones. We had the ancient Egypt, Greeks, blah, blah, blah. And then they started setting up all over the place. But also we know that that was not that long after the last great cataclysm where 99% of all animals and plants died, including 99% of all humans. And so the population of the world 10,000 years ago was anywhere from 20,000 to 400,000 people, depending on who you believe. And um, yeah, so if you, if you extrapolate, you say, say 20,000, 100 times 20,000, 2 million. Well, that's not that many. But 2 million before the cataclysm or 20,000 after. But then if we go, well, if it was 400,000, 100 times that was... 40 million, it's not that much. So then there's a claim there was 400 million there. And we've just lowered the population because of our lack of understanding and we didn't have reliable figures back then. It was 400 million and then it was 40 billion before the cataclysm. And I mean, today we have 8 billion. So we look, we're looking at a pre-cataclysm area of five times the population that we have today. So there's a few assumptions there, a few assumptions that we got things wrong. But, but it's not it's not outside of the realm of possibility. So 10,000 years ago, there's no doubt that we didn't have as many people alive as we have today. But 20,000 years ago, so back further than that, we could have, in fact, 15,000 years ago, we might have had more than we had alive today. And if you consider that a cataclysm would destroy all evidence or everything, and then we furthermore had the, the dark ages to destroy even more, then we have the idea that there could well have been 100,000 years worth of medieval and of knights and dragons and all that sort of thing. And then, of course, we say, well, it might have been longer than that because we're talking about millions of years ago that, that dragons or dinosaurs were around. So could we have had a medieval period for millions of years? Uh, but then we look at what humans looked like millions of years ago. We weren't very human-like, but as a human ancestor, we definitely existed. You know, we might have been apes fighting against dragons. Might not have been wearing metal armour, but we might have been fighting against dragons and then eventually were wearing metal armour. But then I look at the goblins, and so were goblins real? And I started this at the start, then it deviated a bit. But were goblins real? Goblins, I think, were real. And I don't think they were a mythical creature. What I think they were was a second species of humans, who today we refer to as Neanderthals. 
Now, Neanderthals, we say, looked very differently to us. They had red hair. They had the brow that furrowed over. They were smarter than us. Um, but then we somehow defeated them. We had a war with the Neanderthals, which we won. How we won, we don't know for sure. But we know that most likely the Denosovans were also involved. Of course, we didn't call them Denosovans then either. We probably called them giants. So we would have had a battle where humans and giants allied together against the goblins, or what we would have called goblins, or maybe we would have called them orcs, or maybe we would have called them one or the other, depending on how big they were, or what they looked like. So would have been, we would have been up against goblins, orcs, trolls on that side. On our side, we would have had humans and giants. And that was a, that war most definitely happened. There's, there's no doubt that we had that war. And that war was fought about 100,000 years ago, during the time when there were unicorns, in terms of them being dinosaurs. Were there, dinos uh, were there dragons then, or dinosaurs? Maybe. Maybe something. But probably not Tyrannosaurus rexes at that stage, but maybe something else um, that just wasn't fossilised for whatever reason. I look at elves. Elves, I don't think, were real as in a physical being, but I think that they were always meant to be angels. Um, and I think from that sense, I mean, it's like you say, oh, well, were angels physically real beings or were they always um, spiritual beings? And I think elves were always spiritual beings. Dwarves were just short people. Sorry, we still call them dwarves, although we're not supposed to anymore. Still okay to call tall people giants, but it's no longer okay to call short people dwarves. I think dwarves were clearly just short people. I don't think they had any mythical roots, but maybe if they were short Neanderthals, we called them dwarves and that was insulting. Whereas there were no giant Neanderthals, so we didn't have to call them giants. So that might be why it's offensive. I'm not really sure why calling someone a dwarf is offensive if you were that short. Um, but anyway, apparently it is. So it's just factual. I don't think it's a good or bad thing. It's just what you're just you're short, you're below a certain height. Anyway, but yeah, so we definitely had this war, and I, and I think that calling them um, trolls, you know, goblins, orcs, were probably pretty nasty things to call someone uh, who would, would have been another human being. And so I think that. That's why we believe they're mixed, but I don't think they were mixed. I think they were real people, but they were people. They weren't our species of humans. They were what we today call Neanderthals. Um, and, I, and I've, of course, the Sumerians referred to them as Adamu, which looks officially like Adam from Adam and Eve. In fact, they had a story of the Eve of the Adamu. Eve wasn't a person. It was birth of the, or, or the first. Adamu, the first Adam was the first Neanderthals, and we're not Neanderthals. So they have a story that, in fact, the Sumerians say, well, they were around 500,000 years. We say, no, it was 8,000. No, it was 500,000. You know, perhaps our history is longer than we think it is, and we just want to hide it because we want to make ourselves look so good. Look how powerful we are. Look how great we are. Yay! whilst we disrespect our history. And, and I think that's, in a way, that's what it's all about. And it's always been like this. We always try to make ourselves, we say, we're the best we've ever been. Everything in the past is shit. You know, we're the good guys. Our parents were the bad guys. And I think that's really insulting. And we're missing a lot. And we're missing a lot of history that we could learn from. Anyway, that's it from me. Bye-bye now.